What's up guys, Josh Miles here. In early 2020, I had this crazy idea that I was gonna design a chicken coop on Adobe Illustrator with very little carpentry experience and plenty of graphic design experience to build a chicken coop for my urban backyard that felt modern, contemporary, and something that I was proud of. Could I pull it off? Did it work? Well, good news is I started recording the journey almost two years ago, and we're gonna let past Josh tell you about what he's thinking about right now. Hey, it has been forever since I've recorded one of these. Uh, with all of the COVID craziness going on, I thought why not add one more thing to our schedule? So we've gotten a little bit, uh, a little bit homesteady in the last few weeks. We built a raised garden bed, which I'll show you later. We installed the clothesline. And now we're getting chickens, uh, raising chicks that will eventually lay eggs. It'll be another, you know, six to eight months before they're old enough to lay eggs. Right now they're in a little uh, separate portable uh, case, tank, cage. What are you doing? We're in a smaller pen. <laughs> you know, the thing that chicks go in. It has a little heat lamp. Right now they're outside just hanging out. Today's the first day we've had the chicks. Started chopping up some lumber and I thought, you know what, why not make the project more complicated and uh, and film the story about this. So if you're thinking about making a super overly engineered chicken coop, uh, I got plans for you. So by the hair alone, you can tell that some time has passed. Um, but before we jump into all of the behind the scenes of the construction, let's take a look on the computer and I'm gonna show you a little bit of the Adobe Illustrator file and kind of how I thought through the design of the chicken coop. So I designed this in Adobe Illustrator and you can see that I did elevations. Uh, again, I'm not a carpenter. I don't really have a whole lot of background in this, but I just did everything as a straight size. So I scaled uh, each of the boards. So I scaled the two by four down to a standard size. I think I did like, um, a tenth of an inch equals an inch originally, and then I scaled it down to an 11 by 17 once I was done to group it all together. So if you want to download this file, um, it is on an 11 by 17, and you kind of get that idea. So just a quick point, you know, I'm not the world's most handy woodworker in the world. I'm pretty much just using a pair of sawhorse, pair of sawhorses, sawhorses, and a circular saw, and I'm gonna use a straight up drill that you plug into the wall, so. Nothing super fancy. Wish me luck. All right, so I got a little bit of a head start uh, before I started filming and I chopped up almost all of the lumber building this out of cedar. Most of it is two by sixes and I used uh, 12 foot lengths because A, that's what they had in stock and B, it was a little bit cheaper to uh, chop down the 12 foot into the smaller pieces and I'll show you on the plans. Uh, what it looks like and how this is coming together. All right, so now we're inside of Adobe Illustrator where I did all of the design here. You can see that I left some space because I've dry fit the entire chicken coop into the ground. I don't have it cemented in or anything. I just dug holes and put gravel and sand around it uh, so that eventually if I move, uh, it's it's a heavy monster, but uh, I'll be able to pull it out of the ground or at least take it apart in pieces uh, and move it along. So I took all of these uh, two by sixes and two by fours and four by fours and scaled them inside of Adobe Illustrator and just lined everything up. Also for now, you can kind of see that I've just kind of dry fit everything together. This is the main coop. All of the smaller boards are cut down to 36 inches just to keep everything kind of simple and straightforward. You could, you could scale this up or down. You could definitely make it skinnier and you could definitely do something a little less crazy than two by six cedar. I just wanted something that was durable that I wouldn't have to replace again. Uh, the only treated lumber on this is the four by fours, which are the posts that go into the ground. So this is all kind of a similar look to 
what I worked on uh, a couple weeks ago with this raised garden bed. So the raised garden bed, again, is all made from two by six cedar. And then I've got four by fours that are treated uh, in the ground. Okay, so important detail that I left out uh, last time is we're going for like this really um, contemporary modern looking chicken coop. So of course, sometimes the uh, form is over function <laughs> when you're going for a certain aesthetic. So one of the last decisions I made was to put the chicken wire kind of inside the boards, but in front of the support beams. So I hope that's gonna end up um, being a really good aesthetic decision. Although I think it's creating extra work for me. Okay, so one important detail, I totally over-engineered this design, but there was a reason behind that because we have foxes in our neighborhood and every now and then on the ring doorbell, I'll even pick up one that goes across the front porch. So it's not just that I've heard we have foxes, I've seen them right in the front yard in the middle of the night and I needed a chicken coop that was gonna be fox proof. And so far, so good. Obviously we use some pretty heavy duty materials and the design of this thing. So if you don't have foxes or coyotes or anything to worry about, you could probably go way thinner or way uh, lighter on some of the beams or supports. Um, again, feel free to alter this design in a way that fits with your needs. The only other thing I got done since I talked to you last was I got all the angle pieces uh, cut. So I think I got that figured out right. Again, I'm just using a circular saw. I don't have anything really fancy, so it's gonna be a little bit rough, so fingers crossed. So it was really easy for me once I was done to figure out how many boards do I need? How long do I need it to be? You know, what's the, the angle of the, the ramp? What's the angle of the roof? All of this was pretty easy to figure out inside of Adobe Illustrator. Um, I created kind of each of these cutaways. So there's the removable front door and you'll see some footage of that. Uh, I designed a handle to go on the front here and called out where I wanted chicken wire to go so we could let some daylight inside of that removable door. That door is removable so that I can get in to clean. Um, and I didn't see that as being such a regular thing that it would need to be hinged and stay on. So that one just completely lifts out to get it out of the way. This other egg door on the very end is where I go every single day to get eggs, sometimes twice a day. The chickens are mostly laying about one per chicken per day. Um, so I'm glad I've got that where it doesn't have to come completely off when it's snowing or raining or whatever. Um, and I've got hinges on the bottom and I ordered this handle for the outside. Um, you can see that I designed this for two boxes. Originally I had it three boxes wide and there just wasn't space for that because the boxes that I put in there were not ones that I built. I ordered those on Amazon. So I'll include the link to the uh, laying boxes so you can, you can order those on Amazon as well. And then this is the interior uh, elevation of the inside of the house where the, the ramp comes up to here. Well, let's see, uh, end of day one, sun's getting real low. Sun's getting real low. Uh, good progress today though. That's kind of the inside. I'll show you a little bit more of that, but got uh, the back wall completely done, completely boarded, and uh, all the chicken wire up. I think the chicken wire on the inside is the right call, and uh, we'll get a better look at it more tomorrow. So let's get some rest. All right, I've actually done a really horrible job of updating along the way, but as you can see, we're getting pretty close. We've got all four sides that are up, and we are starting to put the stain on today. Leslie is in charge of that because... <laughs> I didn't want to paint anything. I don't love painting. Um, so today I'm gonna to finish up the door that goes here on the end. We're gonna cover that in chicken wire as well and put on some hardware. And then uh, if the stain gets finished today, we'll dig some holes. We've got uh, eight posts that go in the ground. They're just gonna kind of dry fit uh, and sit in uh, touching the ground, keep the foxes out. And then we gotta put on the metal roofing. So we've got all the materials here finally and we're gonna get moving. All right, talk to you in a bit. Thing is not painted. Yeah, he does more like YouTube. Yeah, professional post. type of stuff. Like, oh. All right, so we've had a uh, 
Thanks for running focus there. It's been a big day. Uh, I can't remember if I mentioned earlier, we were doing corrugated galvanized metal for the roof. Um, I had no idea how we are gonna cut that because it came in two foot by eight foot sheets and I needed to cut it to overlap. So they're like 26 inches wide, you know, a little bit two inch overlap. Um, the guy at Menards told us you could just use 10 snips and that actually worked really well. So um, kind of surprising, but I think it's all coming together. We also went back and forth about what color to do on the door. And we decided to do this um, kind of yellow green color that we have on the house color for the door too. Um, so a little bit of relationship there. Uh, I think it's gonna all come together really nice looking very, very mod and very clean. So hope you like it. So hey, it only took me a year and a half to do something with that footage. I hope this video is helpful. If you are interested in building your own modern urban chicken coop and you don't have a ton of uh, carpentry skills or woodworking experience, maybe you're a graphic designer or interior designer, I hope this inspired you to get the idea that you could, you could do this yourself. This is something you could totally pull off and uh, let me know how it goes. I'd love to see your results. Make sure and comment down below or shoot me a DM on Instagram. I'm Josh Miles Com on Instagram. And you can also hit me up on Twitter. I'm at Josh Miles. This is the place where I'm supposed to tell you to do all the YouTube -y things like and subscribe. Make sure and hit that thumbs up on this video so you can see more of these. If I ever get around to posting another one, maybe it won't be another year and a half and my hair won't be another foot longer. Uh, until next time, we'll see you later. That's what it's all about right there.